All right, back again. Let's just get into it. <laughs> chapter 84, A People's Pride. There's been a lot of hype leading up to this chapter, so let's get right to it right about now. Here we go. So the audio data ends there. Wow. Hmm. Okay, so Bardock left this planet as soon as he was on his feet again, and only his scouter was left behind. So then Goku, of course, is remembering all of these things in his own perspective, low key. Okay, okay. These are a lot of the, this is the, be, these are the preview images that we saw from, you know, when the preview images came out. If you missed those videos, they're still obviously on the channel. Then Goku getting shipped out. Goku again sent, and then he goes, Vegeta, I feel like I finally understand what Saiyan Pride is about. Or rather, I remembered what it's about along with my dad's face. The thing is, I haven't had total faith in my power. And then Vegeta says, I've lost sight of it as well. My burden is not the sins of all Saiyans, but our people's pride. <sighs> Why did it have to be your father of all people who helped me realize this? Ha ha ha. Vegeta says, and to think, that you and Raditz survived when you were young because of a wish on the Dragon Balls. That's not fair. Goku says, give me a break. Wishing for you to thrive and all? Who ever heard of such pampered Saiyans? How about the way you pamper and spoil Bra, huh? Vegeta says, one has nothing to do with the other. And then, uh, Manito says, Bardock, what a funny way for your will to be passed down. And Manito says, a people's pride isn't about atoning for sins of the past and it ain't about taking revenge it's all about accepting your nature and sticking to your convictions mm, okay and that's true of any tribe out there okay so yeah so this is so this is basically the the viz version of what was translated by herms because i remember herms's version was saying oh, a race rather than a tribe but I guess they didn't want to use the term race for obvious reasons. I guess, I don't know. Uh, either way, <laughs> here we go. Um, over here, you two. Let me patch you up a bit before Gas gets back. Thank you. Yeah, thanks again. But first, your clothes. All right, so here, here goes the Saiyan armor. So are they going to stick with the armor? Okay, let's, let's, let's see. They're, they're probably going to get changed right back, too. Could I just have my original outfit back? What? You don't want to dress how Bardock once did? And then Vegeta says, I can't get used to this jacket. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. That doesn't sound right. I can't get used to this, but you, you used to what? I don't, I don't know how accurate or not that is. He literally used to wear that all the time. I don't understand. And then Gas goes, found you. Okay, yeah. So they did, they did change back to their original clothes. So that was just a little like cameo appearance, like. There technically is a Goku dressed as a Bardock outfit. So, that's pretty dope. I wonder if he made Vegeta match him too. That's, I mean, whatever. All right, so he's outside their place, literally immediately right outside. He says, get out here, Saiyans. And then, okay, so one of the other heaters was like, yo, Maki, gas is back. He's at the hut. Ooh, sooner than we thought. What now, Elif? Let's move the ship over that way but only within view of the battle and not too close okay so elix still being a little sus all right hey there brother how you feeling i'm feeling like i just wasted too much time tell elix that i'll be finished here shortly he goes okay good luck and he flies away we'll have a tasty meal waiting for you oh oh look yo yeah look at look at look at this freaking shot right now right there Look at this. They freaking came out together. That's fire. Okay. I assumed you would have run off by now. It's you and your gang who need to leave. Gas says, leave? We plan to as soon as I've slaughtered you two. And then Vegeta says, I want to defeat this one, even if it kills me. How about you? Well, I'm not letting you have all the fun. Vegeta says, fine. We fight together then. Excuse me? <laughs> Did he straight up just be like, okay, we can share this? That's the first time I ever heard Vegeta say that. That's crazy. We fight together then. I feel like even with even when Goku has his growing moments, Vegeta 
just has way more on top of that that's fire so i'll be the one to end this and then vegeta says not on my watch oh oh the power of oh yes look at this shit oh my god this this, this is this is a powerful image i can't wait to see this color i'm not even gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be sick. All right, so they're so now they're both in there. So Goku's mastered, and of course Vegeta is all about his ultra ego. Oh, uh, what sort of forms are they using now? <laughs> that Goku guy is using super duper instinct. I, you know what? I, I want to call it that now. From now on, it is known as super duper instinct. <laughs> And Vegeta's got his massive ego boost thing, I think. Like, I give a crap about the names. I'm asking if they're strong or not. Oh, yeah, for sure. Real strong. You intend to face me together? Saiyans are mindless as ever, I see. You still fail to comprehend that such a strategy will not matter given the guy... The gulf between us. Goku says, no, you're the one who doesn't get it. <laughs> oh, okay, Goku, tell him, oh. Vegeta says, it's got nothing to do with our odds of victory. What drives us now is the sheer desire to win. Mm. So they're not, so basically they're not, they're just fighting just to try to win now. They're not, they're, they're not making it about anything else. They're not making it about saying pride or anything like that, that they were just talking about. So this, this chapter is kind of all over the place. I'm not even gonna lie, even though this is kind of hype at the same time, but Hey, that's, that's Dragon Ball for you. So they both attack there. So they're actually for the first time, legitimately trying to fight one dude at the same time together without fusion. Yeah. About what I expected. So, Gas is still keeping up with them. He's like dodging all their attacks right now. They haven't been able to get a, a single hit. Oh, until... Oh, no. No, still nothing. Vegeta tried to do like a double overhead. A double overhanded freaking strike. And Gas just gets out of the way. He's really... He's really doing very well against both of them. I feel like... Are they gonna fuse? Are they gonna do the one thing that I literally did not see them actually doing given everything else that's going on? So they're they're still trying to hit this dude. Vegeta's like going all in. Goku's like literally chill as hell. And okay, uh, he he blocks a uh, he blocks them. Oh, and actually he hits he actually hits Vegeta with his own fist. Like Vegeta, like he caught his he caught his hand, right? Look at he caught his hand and he freaking <laughs> he did one of those. That's funny. Goku and Vegeta charge again oh they actually i think it looks like they actually kick him this time all right so now they're getting some offense in gas is on the defense Ooh, blast them oh no blast them away <gasps> oh yo he they freaking do a gallic gun kamehameha silently right here check this out that's a beautiful shot i like this they're still going at it oh wow they get clonked oh vegeta gets clonked over the head Goku just barely avoids this humongous spike ball. He goes, why you? This is full action, all action panels right now. Oh, and he stomps Goku into the ground. Don't get cocky, you pathetic monkeys. Oh, that's, that's a that's a Frieza line. Shout outs. And then Vegeta goes, move aside, Kakarot. This is a god of destruction move. One capable of erasing mere mortals. If you truly are the universe's strongest, then try standing up to this. Dang, he just he threw a whole destruction ball at him. Holy crap. Uh gas freaking uh, makes a shield him observe as I deflect your worthless move. And oh he's taking it, but Vegeta's still trying to put more like oomph into it. Goku transmissions himself next to Oh, and Goku helps him with it. That's fire. That's actually really cool. And Gas is literally like his shield is like being like melted. And he's like, ah, he's like freaking trying to fight this one off. And then, oh, and then the, the, the heaters are like, is he going to be okay? And Gas is losing ground to them. And he looks like they'd already used those transformations, right, Oil? Uh, and then Oil's like, yup, I saw both of those forms when they were duking it out with Granola. And then he's like, then he's fine. The wish to make him the strongest came after that. 
Right, makes sense. He can still win this. Relax, I assume they might team up against him. As the strongest in the universe, Gas outclasses Granola. Oh yeah? Just watch. Oh, yo. He's right. Look at this. He's freaking sending the freaking... The John right back to them. Literally, they, they're having a power show. He's like, we're getting pushed back. Damn it. It's no use. Uh, oh, wait. Vegeta let it go for Goku to hold it. And then Goku's like, Vegeta, come on. And Goku's like struggling. But then Vegeta straight up went, goes to for like a punch and gets kicked in the midsection. Jeez Louise. Oh, no. And then he palms him by the head. And then he throws him back. And then Gas goes, what's wrong, Saiyan? Losing too much blood? Do you still think you can win? And Jesus says, why wouldn't I? And he's like, hmm. Save your prattle for the afterlife. I feel like this is the part where freaking... What's his name? Freaking Granola's about to wake up. Because I literally said, I was like, I feel like this is his fight to win. It's gonna... I, 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 that part hasn't changed. But let's see. So... So Goku's still holding this destruction thing, or this destructive, this destructive beam that was originally Vegeta's. So then he tosses it up and above. So he's it, so he tosses it away. He he goes quickly to Vegeta. Vegeta's like he's still in his form. He punches. Oh, he actually got a hit in on on gas. Oh wow, Goku's like oh, like you worm. What trick is this? And Vegeta said. And then no no. And then gas says. How is your body still moving? Vegeta says, damage is nothing but fuel for me. Do you realize what that means? I'm only getting stronger. <laughs> okay. So no, gr okay, so no granola. That's the end of the chapter. Okay, wow, that's pretty interesting. Okay, so basically this was a pretty, I mean, the chapter was solid overall. I had a lot of action in it, but it made me feel like there were just a lot of like weird inconsistencies and i don't know if that's even the right word or i hope you guys can understand like what i'm trying to say because some of the dialogue that was had with these characters just didn't really seem all that like true like i don't know like it was just weird like i mean it, what really threw me off was when they're in the saiyan armor and vegeta straight up says i am not used to this i feel like that could have just been like another misinterpreted line that got officially translated for this chapter and i'm sure that once we get another interpretation of what was originally written then maybe we'll actually figure what vegeta meant but i i think that that's actually starting to become more of a problem i realized is that there's certain things or phrases terms that are almost kind of mistranslated and even in 2022 i think that's actually not a very good thing with all things considered because you see how everyone reacted over the thrive thing and it turned out that that's not even exactly what was said so that can stir some problems within the community just just because people are always going to be bitching and moaning about things as it is so when you have something that's kind of taken out of literal context and mistranslated that can actually cause more problems in the long term other than that it really seemed like they were going to be all about this whole realizing their inner selves but then at the same time they used that to essentially get back to where their highest state was for Goku was Master Ultra Instinct, for Vegeta was Master Ultra Ego. But then, like, as soon as they started fighting, it just then the narrative just switched and it changed. And now it was, they were just making it about just winning. So I don't know, like, that's where I'm kind of like, this felt like it was a little bit all over the place despite all the really cool action shots and whatnot and them, you know, getting some sort of offense in on gas. But at the end of the day, I really do feel like this is going to be one of those granola situations um, since this is kind of his fight and he is the only other person that was wished for 
uh or that had the same wish as you know as gas did where you know to be the strongest in the universe but that also at the same time makes me think that well if elik himself said and feels confident enough in gas that if he is the strongest in the universe like after which he saw goku and vegeta in their ultra ego and you know master ultra instinct forms i feel like what's gonna happen is they actually might fuse they actually might fuse i mean again and, and honestly like why even think that way is like dude we've never seen vegeta willingly out of his own right literally say to goku oh yeah let's team up let's fight together like no hesitation there was no bickering no bantering no back and forth the first time i've ever that i can remember vegeta even going along with that and i'm pretty sure this is throwing goku off completely because even now like he's 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 like i don't i don't want to say he's he has his back up against the ropes but vegeta is getting stronger as he fights you know really tapping into his own saiyan pride so i don't know maybe this is in some weird way gonna come full circle with all of the saiyan stuff that they really made this whole little section of this arc about but i don't know man i don't know this gotta wait till the chapter 85 now i guess right so let me know what you guys thought don't forget to subscribe to not only this channel but the full power podcast as well we just actually made a twitter so go ahead and follow us on twitter as well as checking us out on patreon because we do have a patreon specifically for the full power podcast and i bring all this up because we will be recording our th our thoughts and review on this chapter in full detail uh tomorrow so we'll should it should the the release should be at some point late in friday if not like early saturday since this chapter decided to come out after when we are supposed to record these episodes so stay tuned to the full power podcast i'll have links in the description as always let me know what you guys thought of the chapter make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves and the power protected keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside i'll see you guys next time.